Hey mates, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is the place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So today, Alex, we are going to be about to explore one of the, at least from my end, the most exciting innovations in the overall Microsoft ecosystem. And that means the combination between our Fabric data agents and Copilot Studio. If you have ever wonder how to turn raw data into intelligent, you know, insight, or maybe in the future automated actions, I think this is a video for you. And, you know, we've been talking about this, that the, the fabric data agent is, is, is a game changer. The, 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 the way we think about how to bring smart, you know, uh, connections and making more decisions and connect all your data process, semantic models and decisions in real time. This video again is, is for you. So, yeah. So they don't just, you know, uh, read data or, 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 or interpret it or act on it. Even you can trigger workflows uh, autonomously so uh, and and the best part for the business people came from low code and also from the data side of the house no code is required so now and so in in today world data is everywhere but insight on some point uh, often come too late yeah, and you know, with the data agents and the, this combination between data agents and Copilot Studio, you can create multiple solutions that respond uh, quickly to to any kind of decision that you need to make in top of your data. So imagine, for example, a sales dashboard that not only shows trends but also send alerts or updates, CRM records, or even draft emails, and all of these you can automate the overall process. Let's see how it works. You want to let us know how it yeah, works? Yeah, let's let's go and find out, you know, how we linked all together, the fabric data uh, agents and data sets and configure actions. And, you know, you, we can see within minutes how you, we can build this agent uh, from scratch. So let's go over to my machine. So again, this is our fabric uh, landscape. So in the fabric landscape, in this case, I am uh, accessing one of the workspace that we have over here. We already have a solution that we've been uh, building with and showcase with Alex uh, in terms of landing data from stocks live. This is a live uh, real-time intelligence solution with uh, a stream live connection. Then we build a lake house and, and the dumping data from stocks into a lake house. At the same time, we are dumping data into a KQL database. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the lake house has the, the structure as it is, a SQL uh, analytics endpoint. We are creating a semantic model on top of that, and then I finally kind of a Power BI report. Uh, in this case, I'm going to showcase how to create the fabric uh, data agent in top of a KQL database because it's not so common. So first of all, in the workspace environment, I can go here and click on the new item option in the top left of my screen, new item, then go into all items. I can go to the data agents to find data agents. And then in top of this, I can create my first stocks our mates data agent and create the agent from scratch here. So first of all, you need to create the data agent. The next steps in this process is adding a data source. So when I click the data source option, top left of our screen, I can go here and get the data source. I can, in this case, remember that I mentioned a couple of times that I'm going to connect with a KQL database instead of the common uh, semantic models or connect to the lake house. Remember that the fabric data agent allow you today to connect to all these kind of items. In this case, in, uh, I'm going to connect with a KQL database and click in add option. And then after I add the option, it's going to be adding the event house database i can click on that one and i can start setting up the process because i already have this up and running first of all i'm going to showcase this is my kql database that i have in another tab with all the information from different stocks some of them all the symbols of the stocks 
if they belong to any of the sectors, and then the bid price, the bid size, and all the data that is coming into the event house. After this, we set up the agent, as I mentioned before, we set up the agent connecting to one of the tables in the event house. Remember, and today is really important to do the setup of this, you know, the setup here, you can include the agent instructions, the data, source instructions and the example queries. This is really important for the agent to have some context on what are the answers that the agent is gonna give the end user. So if you check the agent instruction, I can set up the instruction in markdown language right now. So you can define how the agent is gonna react in my uh, in my thing here, I am connecting the dots in terms of helping the agent to understand what are the instructions for an end user perspective. Then I'm going to click in the data source instruction and I can give data source descriptions and then data source instructions. Again, I can complete and remember it's really important to, uh, you know, spend some time the defining the description and instruction on the data source. And then the example of queries. In my case, I am giving the agent a couple of, of uh, queries, uh, what the end user can ask, leveraging natural language, and then what is gonna look like the KQL queries that you need to run to answer those questions. In my case, I am defining, hey, the, what are the find the top 10 symbols with the highest bid price in the software service sector. And then I gave the instruction of what is gonna look like the KQL query that answered that questions. The same happens here, get the last 20 updates for a specific symbol, sort by time, and I answer that with a KQL query. That allowed the agent to understand how to process the, the data. Then if I, uh, love to this you can see in the uh, right of uh, my screen that you can define the test of the agent response so you can go in the left and you can see what are the historical trends across all my data uh, which symbol had the highest bit per so what i'm doing here is i'm testing the agent before we publish the agent and the final uh, step on this process is hit the publish option right away here. After we publish the agent, what is going to happen? The next step is um, leverage this agent from another platform. But before going to the Copilot Studio set of things, I would love to showcase that even if I publish this agent, that allow me to go to Power BI and click this option over here. And this option is gonna be leveraging Copilot within the Power BI experience. So you can click here, click on the agent itself, and I can interact with the agent in natural language within Power BI. So meaning that the Copilot experience in Power BI allow you to ask natural language to your reports, to your semantic models, but also to your fabric data agents today. So you can run those natural language uh, questions and this co-pilot experience is gonna go and bring the data from the fabric data agent itself. Then, as I mentioned before, once you publish the agent, you're gonna be able to go, and this is again, Copilot Studio. So the experience within Copilot Studio and Correct me if I am doing something wrong here, Alex, because you are expert in this field. But when you create the fabric uh, data agent and you publish that, you define the overall uh, Copilot Studio agent you are asking and you are answering some of the description for the agent. You are picking up the model, but the most important thing is here, you know. Yeah, let me let me show you that exactly, Gaston. How how that work? Gaston just mentioned. Okay, you can publish your 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 data agent, and you can use directly on, into Power BI. So that's great. So maybe your next question is, okay, guys, but uh, what happens is 
I want to use it on M365 Copilot or even some other uh, uh, other platforms. I don't know, like I want to embed that into SharePoint or I want to embed that into my Dynamic 365 a homepage or power pages. You know, we have a we have a bunch of different uh, scenarios and use cases where you may need the 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 data agent connected with other platforms. So in this case, is where uh, Copilot Studio take action is because Copilot Studio is not going to do any magic <laughs> for the data agent because the data the data agent uh, uh, training itself and all was a piece that Gaston already showed. So. If you want to publish to other platform or even connect with M365, or also maybe another another good example is uh, I have my Copilot Studio that uh, users are using it for uh, request information for it from other system, from internal policies, or I don't know different uh, scenarios. But you want to also incorporate. Uh, and add into your Copilot Studio capabilities, this particular agent, you want to include the data agent. So let's assume that you want to start from scratch. You can click came here to agent, then you can here to create a blank agent. Let's create one blank agent, so for them on propose. Then as, as Gaston mentioned, you can start adding your descriptions, the trigger, and there, there's another important uh, part here as are interactions where you can give more directly interactions to, to the agent or what you need from the agent or what the agent uh, have to do. But the, the important thing here we, when we are trying to connect with a data agent is let's come here into agents, let's click on agents, let's click on add. Okay. Then as you can see here, we have new child agent. That means that you can create like Childation like is pre pretty much the same paradigm as we have when we create child flows on Power Automate or something. It's like trying to divide a conquer a, a problem. But also here we have connected agents, and here we have this piece here, connect to an external agent. So we are going to click here, and as you can see here, we have Microsoft Fabric, we have Microsoft Foundry, and agent to agent. Okay, so. Microsoft Fabric is what Gaston uh, show us how to create a data agent. Also, the next level maybe of automation or create agent is using Microsoft Foundry. And so you can create like on some point a smarter uh, agent and also agent to agent connection. So let's select Microsoft Fabric. I'm already connected here. I'm going to use that connection. Then click next. And then you should see your fabric uh, data agents and you can select. As you can see here, I have two, but the one who Gaston just created was this one, Babcon Mates. So we are going to click on this one, stocks, data agent, add and configure. And that's it. You know, your Copilot Studio, it's already connected with your uh, data agent. At this time, you can just publish and start asking questions to your Copilot Studio. But at the end of the day, it's going to depend on the question when the Copilot Studio consider that, okay, this because of the, of the intelligent root method and all is going to call the data agent and get your answer. So that's it. It's pretty simple. From now, it's just published. You can publish your, your Copilot Studio. You can also, as I mentioned uh, at, the, at the beginning, you can decide which other platform or channels you want to publish your Copilot Studio. But what you are doing is probably uh, allowing users on SharePoint or Teams or M365 Copilot to use your data agent too. And that is the point on how, why to use the Copilot Studio and also because you can add other intentions and other automations with the same data age. So that's it, uh, PowerMate. For, for today. So you know that with Fabric Data Agent and Copilot Studio, you are not just analyzing data. You can also act on, on it, act on the data. And you know, this is the kind of the future of where 
where agents are going and you know how to automate overall process and it is available today so go there you know be hands-on and start the process of building your your own agents yeah exactly and if this helped you you know again uh hit the like subscribe hit the notification bell it's free so that helps other to reach uh this kind of material so maybe them, them some others outside that want to learn more so stay powerful and join us on this journey together let's unlock the full potential of power platform and microsoft power platform.